Right guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to remove this 8 pin SPI chip on the Vastel board for reprogramming. Um, we're not going to be using any special tools. We're not going to be using the Ursa IR500A soldering station. We're not going to be using hot air and we're not going to be using the preheater. I'm just going to remove the chip with a simple soldering iron and we're going to be using the thermal inertia of the solder to remove the chip which is the amount of time the solder stays molten when we take the heat off the chip right so here we go um, I'm going to be using PACE MBT 250 desoldering station but we're not going to be using any of these special adapters for taking off chips all we're going to be using is the standard paste soldering iron with a flat bit but you could use any old soldering iron to do this job right so I'll just reposition the camera and then I'll give it a go right so here we go I've got the soldering iron warmed up um, hopefully the camera's focused then the first thing we're going to do is flood all four pins on one side with solder and then the second side we're going to flood with solder so you take your pair of tweezers, put them onto the IC, we're going to heat one side of the solder like so, heat the other side, then the first side, off the chip comes, all in one piece. Just clean up the print and that's it. That is how to remove an 8 pin surface mounted IC with no special equipment I've used nothing more than a soldering iron as you can see there's no damage to the chip there's no damage to the board and we get a cotton bud just give that a quick clean up cotton bud and a bit of uh, either flux remover or isopropyl alcohol and there we have it absolute perfect lift no damage whatsoever and we've used no expensive equipment nothing more than just a standard soldering iron right okay guys so I've taken the chip off I've reprogrammed it we're going to put it back on again we've got to use no special tools whatsoever just a soldering iron so first thing you do bit of flux on there bit of solder on the soldering iron and I'm going to lift the chip into place just position it like that and here we go just press it down one side done quick press on that side warm it up with the iron a little bit more flux just remove the short and there we go SPI chip back on no special tool needed <laughs> 